What's up guys, today I'm going to be ranking all the maps in 2042. I'm not going to cover the portal maps, just the 2042 maps and obviously the seasonal maps that we receive with each new season. I'm ranking these based on how they play in Conquest as that's what I mainly play. Some of the maps actually play better on Breakthrough but some don't. So like I said, I think it will be fair to base my rankings on how they perform in Conquest. As always, if you enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on the video. Now let's get into it. The first map I'll start off with is Breakaway. And this one is going into D tier. Personally, I actually thought it was better before the rework. The main issue with the map is the oil rig in the middle of the map. It's not a terrible place to fight in, but it takes away from all the other spots on the map. It's also too far away from the other objectives. If the map was made a little bit more compact, it would play a lot better. This is one of these maps that I hate on Conquest, but on Breakthrough it's actually not that bad. Next we have Manifest, and that is also going straight into D tier. It's a horrible map, but it's actually worse than Breakaway. It suffers from the same issues as Breakaway though, where everyone just fights over the V flags on top of the hill, and it takes away from the other objectives. But then again, there is no real reason to go to these other objectives, as I don't feel good or interested to fight in. I think if it wasn't for the hill, and this map had less elevation, I think it would play better. It's also incredibly difficult to spot people on that hill because you have bushes that are 6 foot fucking 5 and players can just hide on them. Even the B flags aren't all that great to fight around either. I think if the flags that are on the ships were brought a little closer, that would also improve this map a little bit. Discarded for me is a C tier map. It can be a lot of fun fighting up on the ship and the C flag and that's where most of the action takes place on this map. It's definitely a lot better after the rework but I still feel like the area around the D and C flags could have done with a little bit more cover. As it can be hard to push up to the D flags because of the height advantage the players on the ship have. Exposure is also going to the C tier. This map has no flow to it whatsoever and the main issue with it for me is its massive verticality. Getting from one objective to another is a fucking mission and even though there is a lot of zeplines around the map, you will still find yourself running around and not actually engaging in gunfights a lot. The inside areas do play well and this map is actually not bad on breakthrough. Spearhead is the first map that I'm going to put into S tier. One of the best maps, if not the best map in the game. It flows really well and even though it's a 128 player map, the size of it feels perfect. Wherever you go, you will have no problems finding gunfights. This map also uses the terrain to its advantage which provides a lot of cover when traversing between objectives. It's one of the few maps that play well both on Conquest and Breakthrough. Hourglass is another map that I'm putting in the C tier. This is probably a map that benefited from the rework the most. Before the rework, if I ever saw this map, it was an instant skip for me. Now it plays a lot better. I still think the design of the skyscraper area isn't great and doesn't play that well. On Breakthrough, this map is a lot better. Kaleidoscope is awful and it's going straight into the tier. What a terrible map. I remember a lot of people thinking this was going to be the next Siege of Shanghai when they saw the trailer, but it's nothing like it. The rework did pretty much nothing as all they did was add a few sandbags and get barricades around the map and labelled it as a rework. This map is always a skip for me. Orbital is C tier. I still think that after the rework it hasn't really improved and I think bringing the F flags in a bit more would benefit this map. Fighting over the main big building can be fun at times and to be fair this map is good for vehicles and fighting over the D flag on the hill can be chaotic and fun as well. Renewal is going to be the fourth map in the D tier. It wouldn't be such a bad map if it wasn't for the massive fucking wall in the middle which just makes no sense. It ruins the flow and just creates a choke point. On Breakthrough I enjoy this map quite a bit, especially the first and last sectors. But on Conquest it never really does it for me. The middle part of the map where the action took place is just uninteresting and it's not fun at all. Flashpoint is an A tier map. Although it's a pretty large map, it doesn't really matter that much as most action takes place between the three middle flags, which means you never actually have to leave that area. Whenever I play this map, I hardly find myself going to the F flags or the A flags. It also has great terrain which offers good cover similar to Spearhead. The camping on the hills can be a little bit annoying, especially if you have a tank or a sniper, but it doesn't affect the map enough for me to rank it any lower. Then we move on to the new 64 player maps and the first one we've got is Reclaimed which I'm placing into S tier. This map has a really good flow to it and even though the two middle flags are the main point of action you'll find gunfights pretty much everywhere. For me this map has got an old school battlefield feel to it. I think it's the best out of the 64 player maps we have for 2042. However on Breakthrough this map plays like complete ass, and it's not enjoyable whatsoever in my opinion. This next one might cause some debate as I'm going to put Redacted into C tier. 
I can appreciate that people enjoy these meat grinding maps, but, and I also do to a certain extent, but I feel like after playing one game on Redacted, I feel mentally drained. Whoever holds vents also has a huge advantage, which I think is a little bit of a balancing issue. It's fun to get clips on and go on massive killstreaks, but the overall experience can be frustrating with the amount of grenade spam and camping, which is to be expected on a map like this. But like I said, some people love these maps, and that's fine. I fall somewhat in the middle of liking it and not being a massive fan of them. Lastly, we have the new map Haven, and this is also going into C tier. It has its moments where it can be fun, but the way the map is designed with every building having a 360 degree view of everything, it just incentivizes camping. The map is also heavily RU favoured. I've been spawn trapped on this map more than I've been spawn trapped on Redacted. The C flag is just a terrible idea because whoever holds that usually wins the game and can just farm people if they camp in the houses. Honestly, not a huge fan of this one, but would still rather play it than 80% of the maps on this game, but that's because the other maps are just horrendous. So that's my ranking of all the 2042 maps. It's just my opinion and a lot of you may disagree, so let me know in the comments below what you would change on what your favourite map is in Battlefield 2042. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.